Honestly speaking, today's guest is a crowd favorite. He's a Ghanaian actor, filmmaker, and creative director. He has also recently released a short film on YouTube. We'll meet him after the break. Why are you following me? Oh, come on, baby. I'm going to follow you to the ends of the world. You know what I'm saying? What do you want? You asked for the boy. You know what I'm saying? Look, I just want to walk into it. No, please go back. Oh, come on, Ariana, stop pretending. You need to well. Look. I just wanted to talk. Say whatever you want to say here and let me go. <laughs> See, Ariana, look, I know you think I'm a player or something. Like, I don't think you're a player, I know you're a player. Oh, okay, 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 Ariana, look, I accept everything. I know I'm a player. I, I accept everything you want to tag me with, but, Ariana, I want to change for you. Hey, Oh, come on, come on, Ariana, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I accept everything, okay? I, you are right. It's not my fault. So whose fault is it? It's the girls. They can't just stop worrying me. Especially now that I'm a new school team's captain. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're all crazy about me. I don't want them. I want to you, Ariana. So, what? You know go talk? I shock safe. You know go talk? Senior flex. Hey! You something they do you, eh? I know talking is the make sure they are senior to Maniki. I'm sorry. So, who with this fine girl wasting is the dive? Anne, Anne. Anne. Y yes, Anne. Anne. You know Anne? Where from she did? Form one. She's, she's in our class. I see. You boys will look sharp than Leia map giving. Is that what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. So. Shall anyway, that the young mosquito net too. Well, my mm -hmm. own 30 years old of late, the mosquitoes and the crap skin all they do streets can't even. Now the jam and the thing put my ears inside the bomb, you know. The bopes. Who you want this? It's mine. Very nice. Nice. Mm. Come out and give me. Can I give it to you? Should, which one should I use? Hey. We get problem. I said come out and give me. No, you are. Can't take my own. Make a do swap. Hey! You this Macatoni boy, be like you know the year word, eh? You know the year word. Who be the man where they can't pick him up? Who I, be the man? I, I, hmm? I have no idea. Ah, Charlie, be like your old boy be that too. Make lucky like say your old boy come. Make lucky. Like Make you stay away from my girl. Stay away from my girl. Make her not even see you for the... Your girl. Your, your girl. In fact, make her not even see you for the potty yana. Is that what I'm saying? Make her not see you for the potty yana. Is that what I'm saying? Huh? This is why I go, I go do him something here. Make her not shiver. Relax, relax. Go get down. Relax. Ah, Charlie, what's up? I heard you're no longer the captain of the team. And I think there's a new coach, some physically challenged man. Yo, is it the one we met earlier? Bro, I'm done with the team, Zam Zang. Zam Zang. I don't go feel play under that wheelchair, man, Zam Zang. Look at him. Somebody went to go feel time on his feet. How you go feel be coach of a basketball team? How? Flex. See, so basically after everything that happened, you still haven't learned to accept the man. <laughs> Flex. You really need to change how you see the man. The worst part of it all be see right now, Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. He be, he be the captain of the basketball team. How? Bro, not to do again. Zam Zang. Zam Zang. Ah, you won't show the team, bro. I am done. Zam Zang. Look, Mecca, 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 baby. Yeah. Honestly speaking. Welcome back, William Odate Lamte, aka Flex, is here with me. I know all of you are excited. I'm excited. Welcome! Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Bad man, hard oh, guy. I beg now. Which one? Bad <laughs> guy. <laughs> welcome, 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 thank you so welcome. Much. How are you? I'm good. Yourself? You're looking nice. Oh. I didn't even know I could like I could see you out looking this clean and dapper. I was told I was coming to meet them. Yeah. That beautiful. Oh my god, so stop it. Stop it. Thank you, thank you for coming. Um, thank you. I was gonna ask you a bit about yourself, but before anything, let me congratulate you on your short film oh. that you've just released on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you so I think much. I think it's such a great initiative. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Like you know, big ups. You know. More, more, more uh, blessings and more big things to come. Yeah, we keep it up. Amen. Yeah. 
yeah. and suits. Okay, so now that I'm giving you fans, <laughs> <laughs> tell me about yourself. You know, where are you from? Your parents, education. Who are you? You know. All right. So my name is William Wodatelante, aka Willie Chambers, aka the Greatest Show. Okay. Showman, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm from Osu, but I lived all my life in Teshi. You're a gamble. So hey, gamble. Hundred percent. Teshi, Michelle, we're big. I'm scared of you people. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, like, they were very cool. No, 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 very cool no, 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 no. Very, very, very cool. Yeah, it's a whack. You hard guys. Ah. No, no, me, sure? I'm scared of Teshi boys. Hard guy, I don't break you. Hey. Oh, but me, I don't be, I don't be like that. You know, yeah, I mean, part of yeah. the good ones. Me, yeah. I did the East Legon side of Teshi. You know, yeah, like okay. Vibe, so. I didn't even know there was an East Legon side oh, of Teshi. Know? I had no idea. Actually, there's Colombia. Hey. You know, I did next to Colombia. So if you say then I did Colombia first, wait, I can't move go East Legon. So, yeah, you, you know they, you know they Ghana, oh, no, 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 no. Ghana, I don't Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, just by the way. Yeah. So yeah, um, so yeah. I'm from Osu, but I grew up in Teshi yeah. with my parents, and I, uh, we are three. I have three siblings. I am the last. Oh, yes, last baby. Oh, so you're annoying. I am not. Uh, oh no, no, no! I'm not like those. Yeah, you know, like me, that, I mean, yeah, like yeah, these ones. They're not They're not, grief, they're not grief for me to be annoying, cry, Charlie. Right. My siblings, <laughs> bro. And then um, I schooled in Nwasinya High School, okay. the best school in Greater Accra. Okay. Yeah. Period. Per. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then I completed the University of Ghana okay. last year. Well, um, and then what did you study? I studied psychology and information studies. Wow. So right, I did a go feed just analyze no, no, my no, no, mind. No, no, that's that's break me down. <laughs> uh, that'll, that'll oh, no, no, no. It be so people they think, but that's yeah. not it. Psychologists don't read minds. Yeah. Yes, they observe your behavior and your mental processes. Ah. Yeah, right. So right but, now, how am I behaving? Oh, normal. Yeah. You're behaving like okay. yourself. <laughs> Okay. Right, but I'm currently studying software engineering. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's impressive. Guys, I run a supplies, run a supplies. <laughs> <laughs> run a supplies. Right, uh, what next? What next? What next? Um, what have I left out? Um, your family, you know, where's your um like you know, your parents, oh, siblings? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I said, I live with my parents, uh, Mr. Benjamin Lamte and Nesna. Lamte and Charles, Mom and Daddy. Charles, <laughs> them, Sam Zang. Yeah, right. Um, uh, basically, basically, yeah. That's, that's me. it. That's um, it. what about high school? Where did you go to high school? No, I was in high school. Like no, I oh, said. Yeah, yeah, the, the best, best high school in right. And then you went to Legon. Now you're doing IT. Mm -hmm. So how did you get into acting? Has it has it been something that you've always dreamt about? No, Charlie. Acting really took me by surprise, actually, because like my whole life, I never knew anything about acting. I didn't even see myself doing acting yeah. any time. It was just completely but out of the way. But when I was in high school, that was when like I got introduced to acting. How yeah. through drama or, or yeah, yeah just, drama? Okay, yeah, drama cry with some skirmishes. But that's yeah. how come I got into the drama yeah. club. So and, so. and it started from then after high school, and I took it professionally. And then I said, That's me now. How did you when you say you took it professionally? How like you you started going to like organizations, places, or you just branded yourself as an actor? Oh, no, no, no. Just... So then the reason I say I took it professional was because. Now I started being, I started getting paid for right. for performing. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I was doing the right things, going for auditions, yeah. get roles, and all that. Yes. Yeah. I was, I was recognized in the space. Right. Sort of, yeah. Okay. Okay. And so, how did Yolo come come along? I, can I say or can I assume that Yolo is one of your biggest? Oh yes. Um, sorry, Yo, there's this water good. leaking and it's just it's irritating good. It's my good. eye. <laughs> it's good. Um, ah, your city is working in it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, how how did you how did you get there? So, when I started off with acting, I don't know, but I just had this mad love for theater. Right. So, beginning I was it was theater only. I wasn't doing anything screen. So one time I think that was like my fourth production I was working on. That was summer 2017. Yeah. So I was on stage for a play called The Barber and the Apprentice. Yeah. There was this guy who worked in farmhouse. He he apparently was in the the audience. So after the production. He came to me and was like, yo, Charlie, you're good. We're having an audition at Farmhouse on oh. Monday. Can you pass through? And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. I, I would love to. I would love to pass yeah. through. And I was like, okay, cool. So I went there. That was, um, I think the, that audition was for Strike Series. But right. I went for that audition. I went to audition. I didn't hear from them. Yeah, did you, did you just, were you just like, let me forget about it? Yeah, I, because I had been to so many auditions. Yeah. Charlie, if you come audition, I'll go audition. I swear. <laughs> 
I go on this shoes with me now. Oh, this shoes master, yeah. yeah. But like, it got to a point, I was like, I realized the people that I was associ- yeah. associated with by then, who like, I used to attend auditions and all that with them, they were in for the fame, they wanted to be famous, that's why they were going in for film and all that. But yeah. I didn't, that wasn't my aim, to be like famous. Right. I wanted to do it because I had the passion yeah, for acting. Yeah, it's just something you love doing. Right. So that's why I chose theater. Yeah. So. Yeah, so far so I went to, I went for the audition, I didn't hear from them, I did a couple of projects, they called me back for other projects, but not for YOLO. So somewhere 2019, they called me back and then say, uh, no. So, my YOLO story, my YOLO story, this is how my YOLO story <laughs> So I wasn't even, like, I didn't actually, actually, like, go for the audition for YOLO. It was, I was actually going to help go find Mac Anthony. Oh, exactly. So the thing is, so summer 2018, yeah. I don't know if I'm deviating from the question, but Charlie, you, you're not, you're just trying right, to tell sure. me how, trying to recollect your thoughts, mm-hmm, tell me mm-hmm, how mm-hmm. you got the YOLO, right. YOLO so, gig. Summer 2018, I was called after the strike auditions, I was called to come to Farmhouse to shoot a commercial for them. Yeah. It was for MTN. So I shot that commercial. I also went to Keta to go film a documentary with Farmhouse mm-hmm. as well. And so we're back. So I think I had like a vibe, a rapport with the, the whole crew. Prior to that, too, I had got cast in the new series Farmhouse was about to produce. Wow. So like there was a lot on the plate for me. Yeah. So yeah. I was home one day and then there was this lady, Brie. Charlie, God bless you, Brie. Love you so much. <laughs> so she called me and she was like, yo, don't you know any half-cast guy? We're looking for a half-cast guy to cast for, uh, for YOLO. But yeah. don't you know anybody? I was like, oh, no, I don't know anybody, yo don't know anybody was she was like okay sure okay um but they are having intercourt and all that can i come over so i could go help her yeah. find this half cast guy she's looking yeah. for i was like okay cool why not so i went i came to the office i came there and then she was like hey there's this other character they are even looking for but they haven't gotten the character yet uh, would i love to audition for her? i was like yeah and then there's another lady too at the office yeah. who was like, uh, but she but i already got cast in another like series so like i should just hold on to that and not conflicted, yeah. but she was very skeptical about it. She called, and then the director was like, I should come upstairs. So she gave me a script. Like, within five minutes, I was done. I gave her this. Wow. I was like, Charlie, I'm done. Said, Are you sure? I was like, yeah, let's go up there. Woo! So we went to the director's office, and then we entered, and then he was like, oh, hey, how are you doing? I thought he wouldn't remember me, but he did. He shouted. <laughs> but, but he did. And he has a sharp memory. Yeah? Very, very, very sharp memory. So he, he asked me to read from the script that I'd been given. And I was like, sure. Mom, baby, I go. I will read. I placed the script down. And then I, I, I so he asked if I me- had memorized it. I was like, yeah, I have everything in my head. Was like, okay, cool. I said like one line. And he was like, okay, okay, now we have flex, eh? So now we are left with Mancanto. Okay. And I was like, and then the lady was like, but the writer, he didn't even act anything. He was like, don't worry, I know what he's doing. He, he knows what he's looking for, yeah. <laughs> right, so that was how I got there. Oh, I think that's a, that's a beautiful story. It's a story. long story, yeah. but my can't. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful story. Right, it's right, cute. Right. I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy that that was able to happen. So right now you're a full-blown actor, you know. Do you, is there anything else that you do or you're just like acting? Aside your schooling, obviously. Mm-hmm. Do you just do acting or do you have any other career or job that you Okay, so um, so I just started with filmmaking. I just co produced my first short film. Yeah. Yeah. On February fourteenth. It's on YouTube. You should check it out. Yeah, yeah I, it will, out. I, will, I will, I will, I will. I was it. reading through your, your brief today and I said, Hmm, okay. <laughs> All right, it's, it's a very beautiful film. Myself, I'm, I'm in love with the film. Yeah. So I just started with directing and um, I do a little writing and all that. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I I think I think it's solid. Is there anything else I want to know that I feel like won't be asked? And honestly speaking. Oh, so we haven't like, started yet. No, this is just you, me, you, oh. you introducing <laughs> yourself to me. You know, this is just me, you know, it's a little oh, bit of razzle-dazzle. I thought I was you know? cutting a question short, crowd. That's why I decided no, to do this. Oh, really? Razzle-dazzle, you get me? We're not, get, we're not getting to the main point. You know, guys, let me not take any more of this time. You know, let's go on a break. When we come back, Honestly Speaking is next. Here 
with me and he's ready to speak honestly. Dun, 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 dun. Well, Make a promise. Yeah, I feel like oh. you, you, this Teshi boy has promised me right now. Say it in front of everybody. Teshi boy, we will promise you. We will promise you. Yeah. I promise you. <laughs> promise you. Oh, sure, sure. I promise you. You know, say it to that. Wear white. Wear white. Where's your right? Uh-huh. That's my I promise on my honor to live by your side. I got to tell you. You promise? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. All right. Okay, let's go to the first question. Khadija from Nima wants to know how. You broke into the movie industry from early struggles and success. I think you kind of you, um, you kind of said a little bit yeah, about right. that, but you know, just give her. Okay, so yeah, so like I said, okay, so I attended my first audition when I was in high school. That was summer 2014. Yeah. Yes, but I didn't get the call back. Oh no. So I decided to hold on to that. So after high school, that was summer 2016. Um, I went for like a couple of auditions, and then yeah. I got a chance to also audition for a theater play. Yeah. So that was how come. I did my first theater production officially as an actor. Okay, all right. So I guess that answers her right. question. Um, Winnie from East Legon wants you to tell us how you are able to balance your fame with your private life. Fame? Yes. So with me, yeah. so growing up, like I've had a lot of attention. Before acting, I used to dance. Right. Yes, I used to, I used to dance. So in my junior high school, um, I was a dancer right, right from primary all the way. So like I used to have this attention from the community and then from my school, my school folks. So I, I would I wouldn't consider that one as fame, but I like I've gotten that kind of yeah. attention for a while. Yeah. So like it's nothing too new to me. But how do you balance it? You mm, know, how, how my private you... life. So I feel fame is how you how you make it. So I don't I don't make it anything. Uh, can change. Can change. Yeah, like that. We mean yeah, you understand. But I have my pri I'm able to keep my things private, and I'm able to also do yeah. my things professional. I have a career life, and I have a personal life. So do you think you do you, you balance it by keeping to yourself? Is that what you're basically uh, trying to less, say? More or less, more or less, right? Like you're very selective of what you're showing out there, what you're sending out there, portraying. Right? I don't even have much to show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have yeah. like it's. I don't even have anything to yeah. hide and. It just be that kind of yeah. song, it's bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, Winnie, the person who has a question before, she still wants to know, she wants us to ask you, if you think actors um, should use their platforms to discuss political or social issues. Charlie, that one, yeah, we own to each you. Own, Charlie, yeah. <laughs> Bob, it's your choice. It's your choice. I feel that it's your platform. You built it. People are in because of you. What you choose to do is, is up to yeah. you, the Bob. There are some people who yeah. want to support social issues and they, yeah. they want to... But then when it comes to like issues where it's like it affects everyone, like um, as you, we're in Ghana here, so let me use a Ghanaian situation. I don't know, assuming that there was a civil war, you know, in Ghana and then maybe people out there, like you, you people have the power, celebs have, you know, they mm -hmm. can, their words can change things. Mm -hmm. Would you say that like... It's your duty as a public figure now to say something, to use your social presence, <laughs> to say something to try and help the situation. Even if on a normal day, you are somebody who doesn't even involve yourself in it. But once it comes to a situation where it's our country, we are all involved, it's us, you are... So the question you... is, do you have something to say? Yeah. If you don't have anything to say, you have to you shut up. You might as well just keep quiet. So if you have something <laughs> yeah, important, to something say. that will, something beneficial, yes, right. yeah, that's a fair that's a fair point, right? Um, Kote or Kote, I don't know if I'm mentioning well. Hey, <laughs> Kote <laughs> from Choco wants to know if your acting oh, life Choco. is different from your real life, and if so, how different is it? Oh yeah, my acting life is real, like different from my personal life. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes, How like, because so? the kind of things I even do, like the kind of acting I do, sometimes I sit back. I'm like, hey, really? <laughs> because it, I can't do those things yeah. in real life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's way different. Why can't different. you do that? Is it that it's just not the way you are? You are shy, or you that's know, that's not me. That's just yeah. That's that's just character. not me, right? Okay. And sometimes, like, people see you and they think like the way you act. That's it's how you the are. Same thing. Like, they they do not differentiate. It you know your your actual character versus your on-screen character and it's a problem you know so far was here earlier on and we had kind of the same oh yeah, yeah. sometimes you'll be in town people say this, this guy the, the yeah. whitest boy why you be yeah. bullied and then things i'm like uh, 
No. I, no. Even in real life, I hate bullies. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's and real and different. And you're acting so well. <laughs> <laughs> bam. <laughs> right. What do you love? Five. The fifth question. A cover from Hohoi wants to know if you have any secret talents that would surprise your fans. Like, is there something? So, um, I would say talent. Yeah. Secret talent. Secret talent. So, I would just say it's, um, it's dance. So, like, I think I'm, I'm a very good dancer. Like I said, it's something... I, I know how to do a lot of things. But I wouldn't consider them as my talent. Right. Because sometimes, like, I make a conscious effort to get those things mm -hmm. to come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... The only thing I might consider a talent, a secret hidden talent, which people might not know, is, like, my dance uh, ability. Sometimes right. people see me dancing and they're like, ah, but you when you started dance, you know? Because me, when I went... Most of my high school mates didn't know like I could dance. Yeah. Yes, because I lived my whole life, uh, my whole life in high school, doing nothing dance. Like because <laughs> when I got to high school, I realized Charlie, you were dancers. Yeah, there's, dancers. There's levels to this. <laughs> <laughs> right, mm. right, right. So it's just and maybe anything for me, I can do anything unless unless I don't want to do it. That is what I say. Because my favorite scripture is Philippians 4:13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Unless I don't want to do it. If I want to do this, you got it. I'm yeah. Do one. If I want to become a tree, yeah. I, even plant I, I think that's a beautiful a yeah, mindset yeah, yeah. to have. So, cheers on that. Um, Sit, Akofa again. Akofa from Huawei. Yeah. She wants to know if you had the opportunity to date anyone in the industry, who would it be? Oh. Date? Yeah, to like date anyone in this industry. Who could it be? Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I haven't really thought about it before. No, but think about it. So you don't have like uh, female. Ah, uh, Beyonce or Dan any? Eh, Beyonce is. Hey, Charlie, Beyonce is not in our industry. <laughs> Beyonce in my industry. Don't be you. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Who would it be? In the industry, I don't think I would even love to date an industry person. Why? Why I mean, are all of you saying this? The girls were on here like... Oh, really? Like, yeah, and they kept saying uh, the same thing. Nobody wants to date an industry person. So who is going to date the industry uh, um, people? They should find it out. <laughs> 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 they should find out too. If you date oh, yeah, us, and we too, who date you? Who date us? You understand? Because like, it's going to be... Like, yeah. I feel it's too much. But you have to find a balance. There yeah. has to be a balance. So you need to find a partner who's yeah. going to balance. Yeah. The equation. Yeah. The bar, otherwise, Charlie, the, the laboratory will be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. You heard it from him. He ain't dating no industry babes. Oh, so. but but for now, like that's my yeah, mindset. Yeah, that's just but, how you think for now. Yeah. Right. Maybe he might meet someone in the industry who would change his mind. So if you feel like you're the one in the industry who could change his mind, drop your name in the comment section, and we'll link you to. <laughs> Okay, seventh question. Mabina from Domi wants you to tell us how you are able to handle negative criticism. Negative? Yes. You see me, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's right for me to say this. No, I won't say it. So what, what I think is, I barely, the things I do are way beyond me. So if you want to criticize me negatively, it will be very difficult. Right. Because I, I, um, I try to achieve things that are higher than myself as a person. Because I always aim high. So if, even if I try to hit the target, where where I've hit, like you wouldn't be able to say, ah, Charlie, this guy, you know, falls, you know, this guy. at least you would rather appreciate what yeah. I have done. Yeah. And I barely see negative critics and all that. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's very. I feel like you have to be strong. Willed, strong minded, not to well, pay that's attention. What I, want. Yeah, I am, <laughs> I'm not. Like I really pay attention. It's a bad habit. It's like I'm. If You're someone, not? if someone says. Like, oh, her green shirt was ugly. I wouldn't, I would, in my head, I'd be like, your face is ugly. <laughs> but I'll be thinking about it the whole time. Like, oh my God, oh, really? this green for shirt. Me, for me, those things don't get to me at all. I'm yeah. sure maybe I've seen a lot of negative critics, uh, yeah. criticisms and all that, but I just do not pay attention. Yeah. I wouldn't see it in that light. Yeah. I'd rather see the positive side yeah. of it. I, I have to get on that, but I have oh, to. Oh, you I have to. to. You have to. Tell it. It's the mind. Mm, it's the mind not thing. easy. It's not easy, crap. This way, go worry you. Tell it. This people. Dale, dale. <laughs> okay, uh, Dalitin from 
Pashimain wants to know how you got cast into YOLO and how you responded when you first received the news. So I think oh, you spoke yeah, about yeah, how yeah. you got cast. But, but how, how did you respond? Yes. Oh, I was so normal in the office. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. I, I just wanted to, to get out yeah, of the office had guys immediately and, before yeah. he came. <laughs> my, so on my way home, I, I was just happy. I was happy. Yeah, yeah, oh, I was good. so excited. I was just jumping in my head. Like, Yo, yeah, good. Yes, good. did it. Like, that vibe. Oh, yeah, I can I can imagine because I know the feeling. Yeah, and then what what even topped it all was on my way home, and then I received the email for all the scripts, and I yeah. knew that okay, now this Ooh, is happening. Yeah, this is like, it. Yeah, Charlie, dope, That's dope, what it dope, is. Dope, dope, dope. I'm 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 happy. You speaking about it is so like it's, I think it's a fun memory. Right, it's making me happy. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just remembering it, Charlie. Okay, crazy. darling, thing again. He still wants to know how your favorite quotes. Zam say what does Zam say? Ah, <laughs> how, how it came about, yeah. Okay, Zam saying so. <laughs> so I'm very bad with storytelling, yeah, guys. Thank you guys. I'm, I'm a non-linear storyteller. I I mix things, so you have to follow me and okay. try and put things together. So how I came about Zam Zain is, um, so one time, so after I received the script and, and all that, you know, with theater, I'm used to rehearsing my lines and all that but and then Charlie that was that was the first time I was going to work on a series a television series so me and Charlie are there I was me there from episode 1 to 13 me I learned all the lines so I learned everything wow. so like wow I was rehearsing I, I I always rehearsed for the scenes so there was one time I got to this part and I was rehearsing the early the early stages of Maria's hour there was this line when I, I finished saying the line I felt like there was going to be an empty space and I was like mm. I need to find a way to yeah. bridge that that, yeah. that thing. So I wanted to say something like what do you say? Yeah. Like like what do you say? Yeah. Like that you vibe. Get me. Yeah. yeah, you get me. Like that vibe. Yeah. And then the only thing, the only person who came in mind was this this popular actor, um, Master Richard. Yeah, Master okay. Richard. That about. Okay. He's a he's a veteran actor. And he is that Marciano guy who likes to use that what you say vibe. Yeah. So he's the only, he was the only person who came in mind. And I was like, okay, but I can't say what he has said because I'm a student. Yeah. I can't say what he has said. What if I go and say, and be like, hey, master, student, yeah. you, have, you, never, you never have that vibe. So I was like, okay, no. Let me find another way to say what he has here, which will suit, um, say, like a, a school setting. Yeah. I was like, okay, sure. I was, I, was, I was still writing things down. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? And then I was like, but when I rehearsed that, you understand what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, it's too, like, a girl's will be <laughs> So I used the what the Asia vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like that, that vibe, that vibe. So the main thing is you understand what I am saying. And then I had to shorten into Zam Zain and all that. But I, I wasn't willing to use that Zam Zain thing on set because I was scared if I had said that thing on set, the director would be like, yo, what you are, are you saying? What yeah. are you saying? Like what language is this? Yeah. Are you from Italy or Afghanistan <laughs> or Kosovo? Yeah. <laughs> you vibe. So I was like, I was not going to use it. But on set, we came and then we did rehearsal. I didn't say the something. But first take, nah, I don't know where the word come out from. They, bam! <laughs> inside. And you know when you start shooting, you say, like, the actions you yeah. do and the things you say, you have to repeat them in the next shot. Yeah. So I had to hold on to it. Oh. That day, it was only one scene I shot. The next day, we came on set and we were about filming another scene. The director came to me, he called me, he called me aside. He was like, um, yesterday when you were acting, you said something. <laughs> this particular word, and I was saying I don't so know, I many things. I yeah, did. I was saying so many. Things. No, 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 not that one. And then I mentioned the something. He was like, "Yes, <laughs> can you repeat it for me? Can you be fusing it with the lines?" And I was like, "Yes." I was like, "Okay, sure." And that was very short. Too. Like he said that thing, and then the next minute we we're going to film. So I just had to suck myself and put myself together, and then. I don't know. It was so natural. Yeah. When we went there, we started shooting. Yeah. Pa, 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 pa. I just didn't know how it felt. It just yeah. fell into places perfectly. And then... It then was meant every, to be. Everyone else said was saying it and then... Oh. Came. It's, yeah. a, it's such a and huge that's thing. Outcome. You could probably trademark it, you know? I should, yeah. yeah you should. Like, make shirts, make merch, okay. make some money. Yeah? Would I, would I get my 10%? <laughs> you have to compete with God. God is taking time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, right, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. We'll talk about it. Joe from Teshi wants to know aside from chasing Ariana and Yolo, are you also chasing her offsets? <laughs> no. 
Ariana. Ariana is a fictional character. Like, yeah, you people should like you should be able to differentiate. So uh. Ariana is just a movie character. Yeah, and I am in the real life. She she dwells in the yellow world, <laughs> you bab, and then I dwell in the real world. But I'm not chasing. Her. Yeah, chasing but are you chasing anybody? My chasing. Charlie, who's still my team? They're not. They're not still anything for me. <laughs> so, so you don't chase anybody. No, 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 no. If you still my team, so you don't like anybody. Oh, I like. You like. They like. Eh, hey, so who do you I like? I like you. Ah, stop it. Why do you guys do that? Yeah. Stop it. I like you now. Why do you guys do that? I say I like you. What is your mind? Tell stop it. You. Okay, okay. But who else do you like aside from liking me? Who else do you like? Do you have a sister? I want to tell your sister that I like you. <laughs> it's you. You are the Please, chosen I'm, one. Please, I'm just gonna move on. Mimi, Mimi from Osu wants you to tell us about what you love and hate about your character Flex and Yolo. Flex. Yes. Flex is a bully. I hate bullies who I hate them. Like I yeah. hate people who try to abuse power. Completely opposite your character. Yeah. If you they abuse power, they vex the person. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. So the fact that Flex is a bully and and he loves <laughs> he loves to like you see people who pressure ladies like I don't I don't yeah. give a, you know the vibe. Why well, young guy? You're a gentleman, you yeah. Know, you be cool guy, yeah. You be hard guy. Uh, you don't be lame. You bow. You get me? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do what Flex does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't like to bully. But what do you like about him? <laughs> his finesse right like flex is so smooth hey? yeah sometimes yeah. like the way he's a villain but like they, you love him like that yeah. he's that kind of guy he's a bad guy yeah. but like, you still love the good he's a cool bad guy you know you, wow the bad yeah. guy you, you can't do a flex from the block <laughs> <laughs> okay mamiasi from winnie bar wants to know the last stage play you featured in and how you handled audience reactions during the play the last play i featured in um that was still a rose yeah. Oh, by Fifi Coleman. Okay. Right. Funny enough, that, that play, I saw it two years ago yeah. in the theater. And fast forward, two years later, I was called on to come play in the same play with my favorite. Yeah. It's not like a full circle moment. I know, you know right? Where it's like, like yeah. and that play featured Ajit Anand, my favorite. Oh, Ajit Anand. Fifi Coleman himself. Listen, it's my dream to work with that man. Oh, I've, I've, been, I've, I've been, been on stage with him for three times. Listen, I'm wrong. jealous. It's my <laughs> dream. I've, I've watched him growing up. I just, oh. Fire flex, you ready? I'm ready. Rapidly answer the oh, I love the energy. <laughs> energy. Let's go. I love it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, which is better, certificates or experience? Experience. Hundred uh, percent. Cinema or theater? 
theater. Okay, ask a favor from your ex or a person on your first date. Oh, I'll ask my ex. Your ex? Yes, yeah. Why? Okay, you know. We are cool, we are cool. Yeah, cool, you're, right? you're yeah. those kind of people that will be cool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to fight. It's okay, not a toxic okay, yeah. All right. All right, would you rather be without internet for a week or without your phone? Hey. Because if you have your phone, you don't have internet, but then you wouldn't have internet. Ah, so if I have the internet, what am I using the internet for? Like with my phone? You know have what? I'm not even trying to yeah. understand it. I, I, I think, yeah. I think, would you rather be without internet for a week or would you rather be without your phone for a week? But they, what am I using the internet for? Because <laughs> it's almost know. like the same thing, but yeah. the same results. But if you had to choose, like living in a life, living in a world without internet or living in the world without a phone, because you could use a laptop. To internet, you can use internet on so many devices, you know. So, what do you what do you think? I'll use I'll live in a world with internet and then without a phone because you could do so many other things. So many yeah. things, Ibab. Right? Um, would you rather follow your heart or follow your head? Oh, my heart. Your heart. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. Like a lover boy, emotional. Oh, but that, no, that that one doesn't like not love, love, love. Yeah. <laughs> but you, like you make more my instincts yeah. wouldn't be my like it's, right. it's within right. right. Um, would you rather never use social media again or never act in a movie again? Hey, never use... It's more tight, yeah? It's more tight. Oh, no, I'll never use social media again. Yeah, never use social media again. Because those days, yeah. like, they even survived. So yeah, survive. you still be able to. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, would you rather someone sees all your photos on your phone or reads all your text messages? Oh, see all my photos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you don't have anything, yeah? Yeah, 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 right. I don't do you, is that you don't have anything that is too frisky? Oh, or you no, 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 Okay. There's nothing really, really, really... Oh. Yeah? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, would you rather hear a comforting lie or an uncomfortable truth? Oh, um, uncomfortable truth. Uncomfortable yeah. truth, yeah. Hit me with the be, truth, yeah, man. Straight you have up. Yeah, to be honest. Don't, like, just don't like stress me, me now. Like, yeah, being yeah. honest with you. Honestly speaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then loom back over chest. <laughs> 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 Would you rather marry the most attractive person you've ever met or the best cook you've ever met? The best cook. Yeah, the beauty there to be beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Charlie, your beauty one cup, man. <laughs> we wouldn't do that, Charlie. I'd rather marry someone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, food, food be, food be yeah. all, Charlie. <laughs> Solid. Ah, for the final one, your last one, number ten. Mm. Would you rather sell all of your possessions or sell one of your organs, your your body oh. organs, your human or your organs? This one, the yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, I sell all my possessions. You sell all your yeah. Why? Yeah. I can start again. Like, yeah. Starting starting over is not bad. Yeah. Even though then, it's difficult. Then being organless. You bad. <laughs> and you human. end up dying, and like you have to because you still need. Yeah. To treat yourself now, you would like, yeah, you like a handicap, full, like yeah. right now, you're the mm. yeah. But it, it depends on the money, too. Mm. It, it depends on which organ. <laughs> it was like the appendix, the appendix doesn't really have like so many, so many things it does in the body. So, Ay, organ. appendix, that one, mom. Yeah, I can't give you my appendix because I don't do anything for my body. So, I saw you, they see up. You don't do anything like that. You don't see where you they see. You they see the ones where you don't see me in the top. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather lose my position, yeah, fair Shelly. Enough. Fair enough. Flex. Yeah. We have come to the end of Honestly Speaking. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Oh, it's Charlie. been so nice. so nice. I feel like we've gotten to know each other a little better. Mm -hmm. I feel like we have a vibe, you know. Today you have spoken, Pam. Yeah. I, I barely talk a lot. Yeah. I but love you, that. You I love, thank you. you. Thank you for out. sharing. You. Um, before before we leave, is there anything, like any final words for your fan? Is there anything that you're working on aside, you know, the movie? Is, yeah, is okay, anything? sure. So my movie on February 14th is out on YouTube. Go stream it. It's featuring Nanama and Pofo Abbeview. Okay. And Liana, as you all call her. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful film. Myself, I've watched it over and over and over again. Yeah. And I want you guys to look out for more and exciting projects that is going to come from me when it comes to filmmaking. Right. You can follow me on my social media handles, Willie Chambers, and you get all my updates. When you see my, my posters for theater plays, you should come see it. I'm the greatest show on Zamzain. You understand where you get your theater, Zamzain. Yeah, I know that's right. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
thank you, thank you. I'm so, so sad much. that you have to leave, uh, but I gotta get you. I, you know, I gotta let you go. You know, do your thing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Hopefully so much. Hopefully that we get to see each other soon again mm -hmm. and talk more, talk about your projects, everything. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I wish you the best of luck too. Thank Charlie. you. Good Thank world. you. <laughs> and that's how today's episode of Honestly Speaking ends. A very special thank you to William Odate Lamte. A huge thank you to La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and Afro Lounge for providing us with the space to conduct our interviews. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the link. Don't forget to also comment who you want to see next. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>